Today we're going to take a brief look at my 3D printed powder bushings as well as do a demonstration with them. Uh, so here we have my 3D printed powder bushing which works with this style of charge bar. Um, my equipment here I'm using a Mech 600 Junior and a 1 and 1 8 ounce Mech charge bar. Here have the aluminum bushing and you can see that there's a little bit of play the the bushing moves around when we go and swap that out for the 3d printed version this fits more snug in the bar and does not move around has a little bit better manufacturing tolerances the bushing the bushings themselves they all match up number wise with the published load data and has a large number that is embossed on the side of the bushing that aligns with the viewing window in the charge bar here with a green bushing a little bit better contrast we can see that number through the window so I'm gonna go ahead Pop our bushing back in the charge bar and go ahead and put it in the loader. Today I'm running a number 31 bushing with red dot. And the published load data calls for 18 and a half grains for the charge weight. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that we have powder flowing. And now we're going to go ahead and load up 10 shells with spent primers just so that we can measure the charge weights. So there's our 10. Before we go over and measure those, I'm going to take the bushing back out of the charge bar so we can take a look at it again and address a couple of frequent questions that I get. So as you can see, looking through the bushing, there is no powder that is sticking. That's a common question that I, that I get asked, as well as if there's any static that builds up on the bushing and as you can see no powder sticks and I myself do not have any static buildup issues although that can be results of your atmospheric conditions such as uh, humidity that's present in the air and looking at the top you can see that there is no wear there's a little bit of a black film and that is from the graphite that comes off of the powder that's normal and in fact that actually helps the the top of the powder column slide across the top of the bushing so with that said let's head over to the charge master and get some weights so now we're here at the charge master the digital powder scale we're going to go ahead and weigh these 10 charges that we just threw with the 3D printed number 31 bushing. So like I had said, the published load data calls for 18 and a half grains of red dot with the number 31 bushing, although with the aluminum mech bushing on average across uh, 10 powder charges, I get 17.0 grains. So here for charge number one, we have 17.1 grains.
number two, 16.7. Number three, seventeen point one, seventeen point zero. Number four, sixteen point six, sixteen point five. Number five, sixteen point six. Number six, we have sixteen point nine. Seven. Sixteen point nine number eight, sixteen point nine number nine. Sixteen point seven, and for number ten, sixteen point nine. So, as you can see across the ten powder charges that we threw with the three D printed bushing, we got close to that 17.0 average that was thrown with the aluminum mech bushing of the same size. I did already do a 25 piece statistical analysis of the charge weights with both the 3D printed bushing as well as the aluminum mech bushing and I will provide those results shortly. But if you would like additional information or if you would like out like to find out where to purchase some of these bushings you can check out the link in the description below if you have any questions regarding these bushings please feel free to reach out to me either through my website or through the youtube channel here thank you and we look forward to having you as a customer